Um, distinguished guests, um, ladies and gentlemen. Addressing business leaders, multilateral chambers of commerce, financial service executives, and captains of industry at this pre summit investor roundtable for potential investors, Governor Babajide Songwolu says Lagos's economy has in many ways than one demonstrated remarkable resilience to sustaining existing businesses and potentials to welcome new investment despite the varying challenges that businesses operate. With the gross domestic product rate standing at 50% despite the economic challenges, this new conversation therefore is to give assurance of the risking issues and provide an enabling environment for local and foreign investments to thrive. That's according to Governor Sonwulu. How would we want to be remembered 100 years from today? How do we want to be remembered 50, 100 years? Because we have the opportunity today to make those investments that will outlive us. So it's really not about us today, it's about the legacies that we leave behind. And that's why I talked about preserving the city that is so important to us, preserving the state that is so important to us today, and ensuring you know, that by 20, 2090, 2095, it can continue to remain you know, a livable state, a livable city that all of us, wherever we are, you know, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren will be proud. Impact is important. But that is also why we need to be able to invest you know, into the future. You might not be able to realize all of the stakeholder profits today, but it's those investments, it's those commitments that build nation, that build cities, that builds the future that we're all craving you know, to be part of. He says the state government is committed to pushing forward ambitious development plans in transportation, tourism, health insurance, tech, agriculture, waterways and more, where investors can plug in for maximum returns. Sonwolu also revealed that his administration has set in place structures that will ensure the state becomes one of the leading human capital center in the world by 2052. We will certainly not be in government in 2052, but we said we're going to be audacious. Let's set up a plan that will be nimble and will be a plan that is flexible enough that other governments and other leaders can come and retweak. We'll become a provider of skills that will be needed all around the world, be it in Africa, in other parts of the world. And we need to begin to provide you know, structures you know, for that to happen. We need to begin to provide policies and programs you know, for, that, for that to happen. We realize that knowledge, skills, information is critical for that future of work for that global, you know, play. The pre-summit roundtable tagged Invest Lagos Investment Opportunities precedes the third edition of Africa Social Impact Summit at Ditola Coyote, OTV News.